Darling Heart and welcome to the Drink Less, Live Better podcast. This is the podcast that helps you to see that drinking less doesn't need to be stressful, lonely or boring. I'm your host Sarah Williamson and I decided to have a year alcohol free as a little life experiment and haven't looked back. With my experience and training, I now help other women with their alcohol-free or drink-less adventures. I'm here to tell you that you can be truly joyful without alcohol in your life. Join me here each week to find out how. Today, I'd like to tell you a story about why what you say really matters. I'm never drinking again. Yeah, how'd that work out for you? Well, seeing as this is a one-way conversation, I'm going to tell you how it worked out for me. I'm never drinking again was always uttered at low moments in my life. Either right at the end of a drinking night out, just before a restless sweaty sleep, or in any of the 24, 48 or 72 hours following, an evening of too much alcohol. You see, even though I said it and sometimes meant it, I never truly believed it. Because once the dreadful hangover had passed and the self-hatred settled down, I knew that I would drink again. I knew deep down that I'm never drinking again was a big fat lie. Sometimes I even said it in jest. The never again messages in a WhatsApp group were shared around as an almost badge of honour. Oh, how we laughed. We also joked that our feeling terrible was down to food poisoning or other hilarious excuses. I was never willing to say I'm never drinking again and mean it. Your words really matter when you are looking for a new reality for yourself. If you talk about how you cannot do something or how you hate something, you're going to be unlikely to make it a part of who you want to be. Here are some starter phrases to look out for. I can't. I wish. I want. I will. I have. I'm rubbish at. I'm trying to. I was known to say... I can't drink just two glasses of wine. I wish I didn't drink like an idiot. I will never succeed at this. I hate myself for this behaviour and more delights besides. Stopping and reconsidering my language, both about myself and to myself, made such a massive difference. What do you think about these starter phrases? I can. I do. I am. I create, I'm good at, I'm so grateful for, and I choose. Almost any of the rubbish stories I was telling myself could be much more helpfully reframed with the use of these ideas. I can be alcohol free, and extra points for upgrading a phrase like that to I can be joyfully alcohol free. I know what's good for me. I create fabulous connections and relationships based on deep and meaningful conversations, not slippery dance floors. I'm good at noticing the benefits of an alcohol-free life experiment. I'm so grateful for boldly making this choice. I choose relaxed and happy over anxious and hungover. Be intentional about the words and messages you receive about yourself. Have either an out loud response or if you cannot manage that, then an internal one. Here's an example of mine. Oh, Sarah's always leaving her shoes in the back of a taxi. Gets the rebuke of, not anymore, I'm the taxi driver. Sarah won't last longer than a week with this new alcohol-free thing. Gets kicked into touch with the internal thought of, screw you. Choose yourself a new sentence for the new you, then say it out loud, write it down, believe in it, become it, dream it as you fall asleep at night. Mine was, I choose to be joyfully alcohol free. I didn't like words like quit, stop or give up, so this choice of words really suited me. 
when I'm trying to think of some good words, a turn of phrase, or a label or title for something, I'm often to be found scribbling the initial idea down and then turning to my online thesaurus to up-level my words or find some alliteration that sounds or looks comfortable. I have Sober Is My Superpower written on the notice board above my desk, just as a little reminder of what I want to be, do and share with the world. Well, my tiny corner of the world anyway. I believe sober is my superpower. I trust sober is my superpower. I know sober is my superpower. How about you? Thank you for listening to this episode. Please listen in again next time. You can sign up to my five-day Drink Less experiment and find out about working with me one-to-one at drinklesslivebetter.com. I'd love it if you could five-star rate this podcast and leave me a review. All that shizzle really helps, you know. Thank you. And P.S. I believe in you.